Hildebrandt. I'm the Director of Enrollment Management here at Science and Arts Academy. And it is my pleasure to welcome our four panelists with us this evening. We have four students representing four different grade levels, spanning both lower school and middle school, representing students who have been here for different lengths of time. So our goal is to give you a variety of different perspectives um, as you listen to their answers to your questions this evening. So I am going to ask each of them, and I'll, I'll maybe call out each one of you, to go ahead and unmute yourself and introduce yourself, give us your first name, and how long you've been at SAA. We'll start with that, and then we'll jump into questions. So we'll just go in order of age. So Gabby, why don't you begin? Um, my name is Gabby. I'm in third grade, and I've um, this is my first year at SAA, um, and I'm liking it. Hi, my name is Dylan. I've, I'm in fourth grade and I've been at this school for six years. Um, hello, I'm Mamta and I've been at the school since I was in pre-K three. Hi, my name is John. I'm in eighth grade and this is my second year at SA. With that being said, let's jump into it. So the first question here, is for students who have attended other schools prior to enrolling at SAA, in what grade did you start at SAA? And tell us a little bit about that transition. How was that experience of transitioning from another school to Science and Arts Academy? Um, I started in third grade. And then the, the, well, moving to here, everything was more fun and exciting because of course you don't want to be stuck in a boring second grade class teaching things that you already knew in kindergarten. But here, for you can, um, for example, in math, you can you ha you go to like a separate math class. For example, I'm in fifth grade math, and some other kids in my um, grade are in fourth grade math. But if, and then if you like maybe aren't like more you know more advanced, you could mix with other grades and go to the higher uh, level. And then everything is is ever is um what I don't know yet. Um, people here are very welcoming. I had no problem making new friends, and there was no like stress. I still talk to my old friends at my old school, so there's a good balance. So if you want to transition, it's not a stressful process or something you need to be worried about. Your life isn't gonna your out your life outside of school doesn't you know change drastically. So it's not a stressful process. So jumping into the next question, what are your most favorite, what is your most favorite subject and what is your least favorite subject and why? Um, so I have to go with the chemistry as my favorite subject, mainly because we get to do the first trimester of, high, of a high school curriculum and we get to do labs and really fun and exciting things. So I personally really like the challenge that it brings. And it also kind of, it goes along with math, which I do enjoy quite a bit. And the first trimester of a high school course, it, I think it's gonna really help me once I get to high school because then like I've heard that it will, it kind of takes off some stress and then you can kind of, and then it's also repetition, which helps. And then for my least favorite subject, oh gosh, um, I think I'd honestly have to go with maybe drama just because I'm not an actor and I feel I'm definitely not a really big, like, I don't like to do a lot of onstage productions, except for the nice thing about it is my drama teacher, Mr. Bear, he, it's not just improv and things, it's also we do playwriting, which is definitely like a break from performing, which I do enjoy, so. Um, well, my one of my favorite classes are social studies because we get to learn like history throughout like the world and like what happened in the past. And like, we get to like do like fun things and we get to like partner up with people. And it's like really fun. Sometimes we get to do like simulations like right now we're doing the Civil War. And my my least favorite class is um, 
Yeah, I don't think I really have a least favorite class at all. For students who have transitioned from another school a little more recently, what makes SAA different or unique? Some of you alluded to this a little bit with the first question, but I'll ask what makes SAA different or unique? So even on my shadow day, when I wasn't even here, I shattered in a social studies class. And I think we were learning about the French Revolution. And I was like, I knew none of that. The classes here are so much smaller. So you, the teachers can give you more attention. There's also more space for you to just do things. And I feel like that's a big part of it is that you know people better. So it's easier to work in groups. Teachers can you know, provide more specific input. And there's just more flexibility in like what you can do. Does SAA have any before or after school extracurricular activities? If so, what are some of those activities and what do you participate in? So, so SAA actually has a lot of extracurriculars and one of the things that I do is Science Olympiad, which is we have elementary Science Olympiad and then Science Olympiad for fifth through eighth grade. So most schools actually don't have fifth graders. So fifth grade, we get to compete, which is really nice. And it's where you compete in different, and you basically compete in science and you get different events. So I'm actually in Crave the Wave, which is a bunch of different waves and like seismic waves and everything that goes along that line. And then there's like things like meteorology. So you honestly get to learn a lot of really like you get to learn so much more information. You kind of treat it like another class, except for there's definitely more tests, but it's anyone who's in it definitely enjoys it a lot. Um, there's ESO and ESO. There's also like, um, there's things like math, science, or cooking class. And then um, there's, also like, there's also math club. And I'm in ESO. And it's pretty much the same thing as um, Lamette uh, to say, uh, she said, except that it's not more complicated since it's um, it's elementary science Olympiad. Math club is more like like a competition in math. You get like worksheets, and they lend you pencils while you're doing the test, so you don't have to bring some. So I think there's a very you know good widespread. There's something for everybody. Like for, you know, your sporty types, there's basketball and there's soccer. Um, for, there's music. They have music lessons through the school. Chess, I believe. Loads of science opportunities. So it's just, if there's something for everyone. I'm sure you'll find something that works for you. How long is recess? A very important question. How long is recess? And what do you usually do at recess? I feel like it's like 25 minutes. Of uh, like playing around and what I normally do in recess is just like like if we can't find anything to do um we just like we just like find something to do randomly because there's like so many things to do like you could go play on the slide you could play hide and go seek you could play tag you can even play in the gaga pit if you want you could play like on the black top mate black top maybe it's, you have like different varieties of so many things. The next question is, does Science and Arts Academy offer any classes that might enhance students' singing or acting skills? So we have two classes that would go along with that, I would say. There's your music, your general music, and then we also have a drama class. When you have your drama and your music separate, you get a more detailed education. Like in music, we spent our whole first trimester working on drumming and now we're doing guitars and in drama we are performing monologues. Once you're in middle school you can also do band orchestra well I think that's ensemble now and then there's also chorus I think I'm not sure if that's going on with COVID but I know that we've had it in the past and I know from my friends who've done that they really enjoy it. So how about the PE program? Can you share more about the PE program? How many days a week does this take place? And what types of things do you get to do in PE class? So in PE, most of the time we like, we get like some, like at the beginning of the year, we did like a little bit of like soccer and some sports. Then we moved on to 
some like volleyball, some basketball. Then we moved on to like hard things like um like obstacle courses, jump roping, um learning about your heart and all of that. So next question here, with students coming to SAA from so many different places, is there a real sense of community? And what's it like to have your classmates come from so many different communities? So I'd say that even though people come from, you know, a large different amount of places, there's an even bigger sense of community considering just how small the grade is. How do you interact and relate with peers who may have different learning styles or are different from you in other ways? Um, so for me, since my grade is actually one of the biggest grades here, there's definitely quite a few people that I'm not exactly like, which I actually personally really like, since especially for studying, I'm someone who just opens a book and writes down things that I need to do, like and need to learn in it. Whereas some of, like, I know some people in my grade, they'll um, make Quizlets and then they'll just send them to people and they're just like, hey, you can study off of this. And I'm just like, you know what, that's actually like a good idea. So I get to change my studying routines and like how I memorize and learn things, which is really nice for all the different input that I get. For our middle school panelists specifically, so Mamta and John, what is your average class size and what are some special opportunities you get in middle school or what about field trips in middle school? Tell me just a little bit more about the middle school experience. John, you want to take that first? So my average class size is about 15, like 12 to 18 kids which is really nice because it's just a small class. Everyone can kind of work together. And as far as like field trips go and other opportunities, like even today during my elective, I'm in um, the Take a Hike elective, which is led by one of the middle school math and science teachers. And we took a hike on the Display and Zivo Trail, which was very interesting. And back to what Mr. Costello said about learning new things about teachers, I had no idea that my math teacher could hike but apparently he's very good at it. And I enjoyed it very much. He made it very entertaining. He was talking to us about different things about the trail. And as far as field trips go specifically, we are planning to go to Alabama to a space camp at the end of the year for I think four days, which is very exciting and definitely a unique experience that I would not have gotten otherwise. So I would say, I think I have somewhere around 14 kids in my class, and I definitely think that this is almost a perfect size because I, in my class, I have like people that I'm really good friends with and not as good friend, as friends with, but somehow like we all still talk and have com group conversations and things. And then for opportunities that we have, I mean, we have our electives, which we get every, we get a new one every trimester. And that's definitely really fun because we get to, it's kind of like a break from like, just, and then it's just something that you enjoy. What do you like most about being at Science and Arts Academy? Well, what I like most about SAA, I like the kids, like from like all like around, like from like the North, South, East, East and West is that like they're from like different areas and you get to like mix with like different kids around like everywhere. And like the, the teachers, they're like really nice and they make like learning like super fun. I think my favorite part of Science and Arts Academy is just the uniqueness that every student gets in their education. Everyone I think feels cared about. For one thing, subjects they might think are very, very, very boring can be turned very, very, very interesting. Um, I definitely really like the, the diversity in our school. And since there's definitely, there's people from like different religions and everything here and our school honors all of that. And I guess I, got, I kind of have two, but the other thing that I really like is that our classes are actually 
like we get to do so many different classes so there's kind of a class for everyone so if you don't really enjoy math we have art like year round which like people really really like and then I mean our art teachers and our art supplies are kind of amazing but um we I guess just having the v variety in pretty much almost everything at our school is really nice Wonderful. Well, thank you to, to each of our panelists for your open and honest feedback. As I said at the beginning, you are the ones that live SAA each day. And so hearing from you is such a valuable and important perspective for our families who are considering the possibility of enrolling here at SAA. So I want to thank each of you for your open and honest feedback.